Army and Navy and Air Force and Marine and Coast Guard and others here. And uh, you're also very welcome because this is this is the, the Ron Paul Vets for a Stronger America event. I'm glad to be here to speak on behalf of the POWs and Ron Paul. Ron Paul has endorsed every POW bill we've got in while he's been in Congress. Every one of them. We're trying to get an independent counsel to investigate the POW issue from day one, 1942, through the present. There are some alive over there. We want to bring them home, and I know you do too. I want to thank you very much, and at this point, let's free America. Hope for Ron. the world, whether it was a time when we came home from Korea or Vietnam, too often our government is so anxious to have us there. They, they entice us to go into the military and sometimes they draft us, but we go and we serve and we do our very best. But at the same time, too often our troops are neglected when they come home. They need a lot, much better care and treatment once our veterans get back. behind that are unaccounted for, the missing in actions, the POWs, and there are ways that we can get more information, and some of that information has been closed off to us. I object to that. If I am ever in a position where I can do anything about that, believe me, all the records will be open and we will do our very best. <laughs> Thank you very much for serving us. I'm a veteran, oh, is that very right? proud veteran. I spent 25 years in the Marine Corps. I wouldn't do anything else defending this beautiful country of ours. And you convinced me today. Is that Thank right? you very much. Very good. Yeah, Thank I appreciate you. that. Glad to hear that. First of all, I have been in, um, in a war, and I don't want anybody anymore going to war, period. Uh, I'm very patriotic. I, uh, I was happy to defend my country, but that's what really got me to thinking about uh, Mr. Ron Paul, is uh, bring our boys home. We don't need to be over there. It's another Vietnam, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, we should get it taken care of quickly. I was in Vietnam in 1965, 66, and 69 and 70. I pulled two tours there. I was uh, a squad leader the first time, 65, 66. I was a buck sergeant. I went back as a staff sergeant and I was platoon leader. It's the most horrible experience that I ever experienced. Uh, I don't wish anybody to go to war. Uh, but still yet, we can't let people walk all over the United States of America. What's going on now with, with Vietnam, as Mr. Ron Paul said, we're friends now, we're doing this, we're doing that. It kind of upsets me because I've seen a lot of good Marines die. And I get emotional. I feel that the veterans are, are, being, uh, are not being treated well. And the reason being is we have people that don't understand the veterans. They have never been in battle. They have never been in combat. They have never served. And they come out and, and try to run something that they, they, they don't even know anything about. I think Ron Paul's got the right idea of, of uh, how this country should be ran. As, a, as a, an American, Born, raised here, I uh, I remember when I was a kid, we never had problems as we have problems now, and the reason we having problems, we having proud problems now, is that we have people that don't understand this country running the country. Korean War veteran Bob Dumas has dedicated his life to finding his brother Roger, a POW last known to be alive in North Korea. Millions of POW flags are flying all over this country for a reason. At the bottom of each flag, it says you are not forgotten. There's only one man by the name of Ron Paul of Texas who was willing to bring this issue to the American people during a presidential campaign. Ron Paul receives more campaign contributions from active military personnel than any other Republican candidate. 
supporting our troops, fighting for our veterans and their families. Vote for Ron Paul.